Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be drawing another husky, but this time it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. So let's get going. How's it going guys? I'm your host Mr. Mill and this is the Drop Mill. Uh, before, if you guys uh, haven't seen the uh, Easier Husky, you guys can see it right over here in this bottom vid. But uh, as of right now, uh, we're going to do an intermediate version. So, uh, getting started off, um, I'm not speeding up this video, and I apologize for the lighting in this video. I have no idea what happened. I think I uh, messed up on the ISO. But uh, that's too complicated for you guys to understand right now, so we're just going to get to it. Um, so right now, we're drawing the nose. It's kind of having kind of like a bubble feature uh, of the triangle facing down, followed by two upside down news to fill in those nostrils. Okay. And now, in order to make it more three-dimensional, we're going to add a little curve on the top to emphasize that the, new, the nose is protruding outwards towards us. There we go. And now I'm going to do the eyes. And the eyes are going to be quite far apart in order to uh, create that kind of like two-tone type of husky. And I'll explain that later on. So you want to make sure these eyes are quite far apart. Kind of like egg shapes. And you want to be as symmetrical as you can to the other one. All right. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to do the inner highlights. So I'm going to leave those parts white. Followed by a nice big area for the pupil. And then the iris. There we go. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, so the eyes are done until we get to coloring. So we're gonna do a nice wide mouth, but before we do that, we're gonna add some dimples. We're gonna connect them both with this nice wide W, just like so. It's very close to the nose. A couple freckles here and there, those are optional. All right, now this part's a little bit more tricky. So I'm just gonna draw kind of like a mouth. It's gonna be opening and then the bottom chin. Now the reason why I did it so lightly is because you're going to be drawing the tongue in a little bit. So I'm going to do it right now. So from the, starting from the left hand side, I'm going to curve up, then go down, and stop right there. And then I'm going to start pressing harder on the mouth area so you can see which parts are actually staying there. There we go. And then I can erase the detail of the mouth that we didn't use because the tongue is overlapping them. There we are. All right, almost done. All right, moving on. We're gonna be doing half of the uh, facial features. So I'm gonna mimic that same curve on the other side. All right, and then I'm gonna create a symmetry like that and then create its bottom fur. I'm gonna have it make it have, I think three strands, not quite sure. Yeah, I think I did three. If not, if I did four, not a big deal. Yes, I did four. <laughs> all right, bottom half of him is all done. I create a nice curve on the top. A little bit of a spike over there. And then over here, I'm gonna add two lines for the inner triangles of his ears. I'm adding two spikes on the inside of them. To make sure they're the same height. There we are. And then the outside of the ear to outline it. Put it down right there. And then same thing on the opposite side. All right, and all I gotta do is connect the two ends just like that. Okay, almost done. And I forgot about the lines over here. Kind of like a pattern for the fur. Kind of looks like angry eyebrows almost. And these two curves between the eyes. And there we go. So I'm going to color first, and after I color it, then I'll trace with black marker. So you guys can see how that works. Um, I always like doing this method better because it just looks more interesting, and that way I don't uh, kill my markers. So I want to make sure I make them last as long as I can. There we are. Color that portion gray only. And then kind of like a sand color for the nose, leaving it in highlight. Darker brown for the inner nose. Kind of like a teal color for the eyes. Okay, kind of like a grape color for the mouth, followed by a nice pinkish color for the tongue. There we are. A little bit of darker gray in some spots. There we are. Outline the inner parts, the dark gray. And then I'm ready to do the black. And once I trace everything in black, everything will look 
more official. There we go. I'm going to color this whole entire side black. There we go. Uh, by the other side. And we're basically done. That's basically it. All right. And there we go. That's how you draw an intermediate version of the Husky. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one. If you guys are interested, here's some more videos over here. And that's basically it. See you guys later.